Today I'm going to show you guys how to use a bead breaker to remove a tire off a rim and uh, maybe I'll go through the process of actually getting the tire all the way off the rim. So this is this is a bead breaker that I'm using. Uh, basically you clamp onto the rim right here and when you tighten this bolt it pushes down these two tabs move down and it pushes the bead off the rim. So what you want to do is you want to make sure you got this screw right here, adjust how tightly it clamps. So I usually back this way out so it's the clamp is out of the way when I'm pounding it on, the breaker on. So loosen this up all the way too, that just means that all these tabs are lined up or just tighten it to a spot to where they're lined up. What you're going to do is you're going to hold this clamp out of the way and uh, just make sure that this clamp goes on the outside of the rim and these three tabs go turn so you can see the three tabs go under the rim so you kind of want to push it down and get it started a little bit and then you grab your hammer knock on the back side and get it uh, get it pounded underneath there and these this clamp works pretty well so basically now I'll tighten up this screw so it tightens up the clamp a little bit so that it's on all the way so that when you push this lever back it engages the clamp and now you're clamped onto the rim really tightly right here let me show you close up what that looks like that's what we're looking for so then you grab your long bar here or grab your uh, wrench and as you tighten this bolt here it pushes down on the outside sections of the breaker and it pushes the tire off the bead or the bead off the rim and actually I don't think I pounded this on quite all the way but it'll still probably work. I'm not reusing these tires, so I'm not super concerned. There we go. So now that it's off the bead, you can continue to push it, push it down the rest of the way by hand. Also, when you before you do this, you remove the uh, valve stem out of your valve so that uh, all the air can come out. So when you're done, loosen this up, undo the pressure off the clamp, loosen the bolt, and that's what happens. So then tighten this back up. Yeah, there you go. That's how you use a bead breaker. If you have to change a tire, these tools are a must-have, including some big tire irons. You got the bead broke off. You gotta get the get the bead over the outside of the rim. So it's always good to try to make sure your valve stem is pushed in so it doesn't get caught anything when you're trying to do this. I always start opposite the uh, valve stem and push your tire iron down in and get it get it get it so you're uh, hooked onto the bead and you need to. The opposite side of the tire you want on the smallest part of the rim, so all the way to the inside. That way you have room on the other end to pry the bead over the rim. So you gotta be careful because once you get a lot of pressure on these, and these tires are soft, so there's not a lot of pressure on them, but you gotta be careful because these things can, uh, your tire irons can have a lot of force and they can slip out, or if they slip off your hand, they could hit someone or hit yourself. I haven't done it, knocked on wood, but so sometimes it's good to get two tire irons under so that um, so that you can do one and then the other, like so. Because um, otherwise, like right now, it can be kind of tough to get. Uh, it can be tough to get the tire iron back uh, back under a 
like right here. They're pretty tight. But get it under, tie it off. And uh, I've got new tires and new tubes, so I'm not concerned about uh, damaging my tubes. Um, but if you were patching the tube or planning on reusing your tubes, you want to be careful not to pinch the uh, pinch the tube with the tire iron because there's nothing worse than changing your tires, getting everything put back together, and then you realize that you poke the hole in your tube putting things back on. Just like so. And then, uh, so once you're, uh, once you got one bead off the rim, reach in and pull your tube out. Oh, actually, this will be easier once you push the other, um, the other bead, uh, bead off the rim. So, like so, there's probably guys telling me. Like so. So I'm going to clean up and paint these rims and then do, I got new, new tubes and new tires to go on. Alright, so I left you out of the, the dirty part, but I wire wheeled and then sanded my rim. Um, and then wiped it down with some acetone, uh, painted it. I kind of taped it off so I didn't get any paint on the outside. I just, black Rust-Oleum is what I use because it's what I have. But, uh, so basically how this works is you're gonna start by putting uh, the one bead on, kind of the same concept. You want uh, the bead on one side on the narrowest part of the rim so that you have as much slack as possible to get it over the outside of the rim. Um, I'm going to try to avoid using, I usually do soapy water and it works really well to help slide the tire on, but I'm going to be using this silicone spray just because last time, I don't know, I know I'm going to scratch it up a little bit on the inside with the tire irons and I'd rather not have water sitting against bare scratch metal. It's not going to rust a whole lot, but I'd, I'd like to avoid it if I can. So I'm going to use this silicone spray, which is kind of slippery use that as a lube to help slide it on so all right here we go let's we'll see if he wants to go one half of the bead on the rim and then you uh, push your tube up, down in there. My valve stem is right here and now I need to push it around and push it through the hole in the rim which is easier said than done. There's no room to get my hands in there. I think they make cool. Like so. Now, careful not to lose your valve. And uh, more, more lube. So my battery died while I was recording, but yeah, basically just as long as you make sure your valve stem stays out through the hole in the rim and uh, kind of work your way around. This one actually slipped on pretty nice. That silicone spray worked really well. And then I'll air it up to 50 PSI and we'll be good to go. Pull out on the valve stem. Make sure your valve stem is happy and seated well. Feel like Bob, Bob Ross. Happy little valve stem. We have happy valves and happy tires. Happy tractor tires. New tractor tires make me happy. Very much. Right. 
There you have it, 50 PSI. So the camera cut out, but to get the to get the tire on the rim probably only took me, I don't know, five minutes, a little more. If you have the right tools and you've done it a time or two and you got lube on it, it's really not that bad. So if anyone out there is looking to do it and see seeing if it's really difficult, get yourself a couple tire irons, one from Harbor Freight, whatever will work. Um, and a bead breaker. Borrow some, borrow a bead breaker or find a cheap one. Um, it really makes the job not too bad. And after you do a couple of them, you can do them really quickly. So thanks for watching everyone and I hope this video helps. If you guys think I did anything stupid or you think I should do it this project any different way, um, leave me a comment so I can learn from other people's opinions. Hope this helps anyone. Thanks for watching. Since I just said it took me a little bit more than five minutes to do the other tire, first one, I'm going to see how long this one takes me. Okay, this one took nine minutes, but I swear the last one went better.